basically my expectations are at least twofold. First, it's like sharing uh, the experience of Africa Internet Group, which is today the first and fastest African unicorn um, in like how that, what, what it takes actually to build an online platform with more than uh, 10 brands in 23 countries in four years. And the, the second expectation is actually learning and getting to know better about the digital ecosystem overall, uh, not limited to e-commerce, food, travel, likewise uh, we are doing today, and get more opportunities to partner. Uh, of course, I would be more than happy to welcome you one day in Lagos or Abidjan, but I think that Paris is an exciting hub too, because uh, many reasons. First, you see lots of uh, startups that are targeting the African market that are launch based in Paris. Uh, can it be, being it actually uh, online retail, e-commerce, uh, but also more specific to certain um, fields like PR, events or communication. And two, you also have a, a very dynamic startup scene. Um, and I think we need to acknowledge it and just take it as an opportunity to connect better to investors from Europe too, um, because at some point Africa needs capital whatever the, the nationality or the origin of this capital. Sure, so basically Africa on, on, uh, Internet Group basically um, has uh, more than 10 brands today. Uh, the most popular is Jumia, which is the biggest online retailer. And to make Jumia a success story, we had to be uh, very innovative, very pragmatic and very humble. Uh, so first of all, we had to build trust because uh, we were pioneering actually e-commerce in Africa and we needed to show that it was actually not a scam. Uh, and for instance, uh, enabling cash and delivery was a great attempt and a great tool to, to get trust. Two, we had to be very actually innovative in uh, logistics field because most of um, postal services in countries were not ready. So actually we built from scratch uh, warehousing, logistics and delivery uh, skill set, uh, which is now actually a company uh, which is called AIG Express, serving Jumia, serving sister's company of Jumia and soon enough ser serving other players. Um, and lastly, uh, we had to be innovative because as I mentioned, uh, there are so many challenges when you do business in Africa, especially online retail uh, and uh, basically for instance mobile is a trend that we leverage early enough uh, and today more than 70% of our traffic is mobile and as you know Africa is today a mobile first continent so these are three of all the many recipes for success and hopefully it will be useful for the players too. Okay, it's a very good question. Huh? I was discussing with my team this morning how there is a disconnect between the Africa of today and how we can see it in the media. On my end, I feel myself as someone who can be a bridge because I'm 100% African. I was born and raised and mostly educated before my business school in, in, in Senegal, in Ghana, in Togo. Uh, and then I got the chance to, to, to learn uh, abroad, to study abroad, to work abroad and to come back. And I see this disconnect because basically I love being in Lagos. It's a vibrant ecos ecosystem uh, happening there with a very, very dynamic startup scene with things that are like role modeling the rest of the world when I think about for instance, mobile payment in Kenya. Uh, so of course, the image I want to convey about Africa is one, entrepreneurship, which is very, very true everywhere, especially in East Africa and Nigeria. Uh, two is actually uh, uh, being at the cutting edge of anything mobile. Uh, sorry to say because uh, the, the success story of, for instance, again, mobile payment is not in the Silicon Valley. It's not in Shenzhen. It's in uh, Nairobi and it's in Kenya with M-Pesa. Uh, so basically, these are, the, I think, the two brightest things that comes to my mind when it comes to the startup scene in Africa.